Hi and welcome. This is Eric, and today we are going to discuss um, what MSBI means. Okay, so in a nutshell, MSBI stands for Microsoft Business Intelligence, and business intelligence uh, means it's a process of converting data into information. When I say data, it's a um, raw um, data, it's uh, uh, unprocessed information, really, and uh, information is processed data. Anyways, those words look kind of alike, so let me go through the definition here, which is written, and I will explain further. So, business intelligence is a set of processes, architectures, and technologies that converts raw data into meaningful information. Okay, so this is processed information data actually. So that drives profitable business action. So when we get data pretty much in a, maybe a spreadsheet or text file, whatever it is, you're gonna find uh, maybe if it's a list of patients or maybe items sold or orders, whatever it is. Um, most of the times when you look at it, it's really just raw data. You cannot make any decision. You cannot uh, um, um, take a look and understand if the company organization is making any money unless if that information is processed, summarized, and all that. So business intelligence is the process of uh, um, doing all that. Okay. So uh, it is a suit of software and services to transform data into actionable intelligence and knowledge. Okay, so um, Microsoft developed this tool, Business Intelligence, which helps us to um, collect um, that data um, because most of the times this information may be coming uh, from different systems. Okay, so Um, the BI tools really perform the data analysis and create reports, summarizes, uh, summaries, sorry, uh, dashboards, maps, graphs, whatever it is, just to provide uh, uh, detailed intelligence about the nature of the business uh, to the user, end user who will be reading that information. So, as you can see here, the information will be coming from uh, different kinds of maybe text file, XAML file, database. Um, sometimes just in an Excel file. You get that data, you gather that information, and you process. So most of the times, really, um, as you can see, the data will be coming from in different forms and from different places. So you find yourself that you have to um, really um, maybe transform the data or maybe clean the data if there are errors and all that because um, we don't know it's coming or what's coming in the data so you're gonna make sure that for example um, there are some required fields you may you want to make sure that they are in there before if not you're gonna have to send back to the requester or to the uh, source and tell them to correct the information. So uh, part of this business intelligence, um, you're gonna have to find a way to clean your data, okay? Or sometimes just to transform, for example, here, you're getting a list of employees. Some system, they record, uh, let's say, active employees as ones and zeros. Some systems, they do that, maybe they just put a future date Okay, and leave now for active employees. Or some of them they add a terminated date, or they leave now for um, active employees. So if you are, uh, uh, you have to deal with this type of data, you have to transform in a such a way it's common or it's easy readable for you. So um, we call that process uh, data analysis. So you have to analyze your data, and um, um, if you start analyzing 
the data from every source you can see here um, you're gonna find yourself overworking because you're gonna have to analyze this data transform and gather that info uh, that information when you go to analyze and uh, present that to the end user but that's not really a, a smart way of doing that so uh, most of the times the way we do it is we gather that information all together we analyze and then we present to the end user so i mentioned about data analysis so it's just a process of cleaning transforming and modeling data to discover useful information for business uh, for business decision making and most of the times when you get these files you may uh, find some information it's not useful for your company or for that purpose so you're gonna have to filter that out you just need to get the information that you need okay the purpose of uh, data analysis is to extract useful information from the data and taking the decision based upon the data analysis okay so um, how do we do that actually we have to um, um, first get that data extract from sources put it in the data warehouse after, after transforming and then we can do analysis okay so data warehousing is a process of collecting and managing data from various sources to provide meaningful business insight okay as i told you guys it's not easy to analyze these individual files okay you may have maybe 10 different kind of sources maybe if you have a, 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 a company that has a, a branches they may have oh maybe it's a, just a bank system with different branches you may find yourself doing the same thing over and over and over and over 10 times 20 times depending on so if you load all the information into your data house i think it's going to be easy to analyze that information okay so a data house is typically used to connect and analyze business data from uh, different kind of systems okay so uh, uh, most of the companies they choose to create a big warehouse where they can uh, uh, store their information for analysis and reporting okay so that process of uh, extracting transforming and loading data to the data house we call it etl okay so when we load data to the data house actually what we do is we extract that information we transform and then we load that information to the um, data warehouse okay and then from there we can analyze to get the information we just have to analyze uh, one set of data warehouse instead of analyzing uh, uh, records or data from uh, different sources okay so this process of extraction transformation and loading data we call that etl okay so we get the data we gather it we use etl to store the information into the data warehouse and uh, we display that information to the end user okay so uh, microsoft business intelligence they do have these uh, three sets of tools we do have uh, ssis they do have um, uh, ssrs and ssas ssis stands for sql server integration services and uh, um, ssas stands for sql server analysis services and ssrs stands for sql server reporting services so we use reporting services to display the um, um, the data or the information to the end user we use uh, 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 ssas analysis services to analyze data from the data rails and we use integration services to extract that information 
from different sources we transform and we load to the database so um, this process here it's a bi life cycle and you can see we start with ssis we then analyze data using ssis and we load i mean we display that information using sql server reporting services thank you very much that was um giving you a nutshell what a bi is and uh, obviously we do have different products that are non-microsoft uh, but um, um, uh, the products of uh, microsoft these are uh, uh, the names and in short um, they call them msbi so if you hear about msbi it comprises of uh, sql server reporting services sql server analysis services and sql server integration services thank you very much you have a wonderful evening